Hello everyone, welcome. In this particular video, we are going to study about the different types of living things present on earth. We know there are so many varieties of living things. They are different in their shape, their size, their structure, their habitat, where they live, what they eat, everything is different. Now, varieties in fact, 1.75 million of species has been discovered and as I estimate that there are 8.7 million of species on earth. अब इतने सारे वैरायटीज ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म है और हमको सारे वैरायटीज अगर स्टडी करना है तो कैसे स्टडी करें हाउ इज इट पॉसिबल इट इज पॉसिबल बिकॉज़ बायोलॉजिस्ट हैव क्लासिफाइड ऑर्गेनिज्म नाउ व्हाट इज क्लासिफिकेशन क्लासिफिकेशन सिंपली मींस ग्रुपिंग ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर सिमिलैरिटीज एंड डिफरेंसेस ऑर्गेनिज्म्स के सिमिलैरिटी एंड डिफरेंसेस के बेसिस पे उनको ग्रुप्स में डिवाइड किया गया है क्लासिफाई किया गया है Now, how is this classification done? That is what we have to understand. उससे पहले तो ये समझते कि what is the advantage of classification? Classification करने का क्या advantage है? Advantage ये है पहला we can understand the group of organism just by studying the characteristic of one organism. Systematic study हो जाता है, study easy हो जाता है. That means अगर हमें एक पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप को स्टडी करना है तो इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी फॉर अस टू स्टडी ऑल दी ऑर्गेनिज्म सिर्फ एक ही ऑर्गेनिज्म के बारे में स्टडी किया ग्रुप्स में एग्जांपल इफ वी वांट टू स्टडी रेप्टाइल्स रेप्टाइल्स स्टडी करना तो सारे रेप्टाइल्स को स्टडी करने की जरूरत नहीं वी विल जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ स्नेक एंड पूरे ग्रुप को हमने स्टडी कर लिया स्टडी इजी हो गया ठीक है टाइम वेस्ट नहीं हो रहा है हम बहुत सारे वैरायटी डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म को हम स्टडी करें सो वी कैन स्टडी वैरायटीज ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म वी आल्सो कम टू नो अबाउट द इंटर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑर्गेनिज्म एक दूसरे से कैसे रिलेटेड है वो भी हमें पता चलता है इट आल्सो हेल्प अस क्लासिफिकेशन आल्सो हेल्प्स अस टू फाइंड द इवोल्यूशनरी रिलेशनशिप दैट मींस हाउ ऑर्गेनिज्म डेवलप्ड फ्रॉम सिंपल फॉर्म इनटू कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्म दीस आर द एडवांटेजेस how classification was done before that classification of living organism is called as taxonomy and the first classification was given by carolus linnaeus who is also called as father of taxonomy how did he classify this particular person that is carolus linnaeus classified organisms all the organisms on earth into two types into two categories that is plant and animal on the basis of mode of nutrition that is kaise nutrients lete organism and locomotion that is how do they whether they move or not iske basis pe unhone do group banaya first group that is plant included organisms which are autotrophic jo autotrophic hai matlab khud se khana bana lete by photosynthesis they are green in color and they are non motile that is they cannot move from one place to another and second group was of group animals animals included organism though which are heterotrophic that is they cannot prepare their own food ye wo food ingest karte hai khate hai food and they are motile that is they can move to so, aise unhone do group bana but ye jo particular classification system hai this classification system was not accepted we accepted we used this classification system for a while bahut kuch time tak humne use kiya but isko aage humne accept nahi kiya because it has some demerits demerits kya hai iska pehla demerit hai organisms having different characteristic were grouped together example le lo plants fungus was included in plant fungus heterotrophic hai fungus cannot prepare their own food they are non green but usko include kiya gaya tha plants mein जबकि कुछ ऑर्गेनिजम्स ऐसे हैं जिनकी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक प्लांट जैसे भी है एनिमल जैसे भी है एंड इट वाज नॉट गिवन अ प्रॉपर पोजीशन एग्जांपल ले लो एग्जांपल यूग्लेना यूग्लेना इज ग्रीन इन कलर दैट इज दे हैव क्लोरोफिल दे परफॉर्म फोटोसिंथेसिस इन लाइट बट इन डार्क दे यूज हेटरोट्रोपिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन दैट इज दे डिपेंड फॉर फूड ऑन अदर्स तो अब ये जो ऑर्गेनिज्म है यूग्लेना प्लांट जैसा भी है एनिमल जैसा भी है बट इसको प्लेस किया गया था एनिमल्स में लेकिन एनिमल सारे एनिमल्स जैसा तो वो है नहीं तो यहाँ पर दिस वॉज दी सेकेंड डीमेरिट इज ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑर्गेनिज्म को मल्टी सेल्यूलर के साथ प्लेस किया एग्जाम्पल अमीबा पैरामोशियम जो यूनि सेल्यूलर ऑर्गेनिज्म है उसको बाकी दूसरे एनिमल्स के साथ प्लेस किया गया इन किंगडम एनिमेलिया बैक्टेरिया विच इज यूनि सेल्यूलर वॉज प्लेस इन किंगडम प्लांटेड तो ये कुछ डीमेरिट्स थे अब ये डीमेरिट्स को ओवरकम किया गया In year 1969 by Robert Whittaker. 
So Robert Whittaker gave the classification system in which he classified organisms into five kingdoms. And the five kingdoms are Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Plantae, and Kingdom Animalia. How did he classify organism into these five kingdoms? That is what we have to study. So let us see the classification which was given by Whittaker, Robert Whittaker. He classified organisms into five kingdoms on the basis of various criteria. Now what was the criteria used and how did he classify the organism? Let us see. Now first he classified organisms on the basis of structure of cell into two types. Prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Pro means primitive. Pro is primitive or basic. Karyo means nucleus. So all the organisms in which cell had primitive nucleus or well-defined nucleus was absent, those cells were called as or those cells are called as prokaryotes. Example, we can see bacterial cell. So bacterial cell may DNA present. This particular structure that is DNA, genetic material is present, but it is not present inside nucleus. So there is nucleus. They don't have well-defined nucleus. So, ऐसे organism जिसमें well defined nucleus absent होता है, उनको हम बोलेंगे prokaryotes. And the organisms in which there are well defined nucleus presence are present are called as eukaryotes. U means true, and karyo means nucleus. So, the organisms in which cell have well defined nucleus are called as eukaryotes. Example: plant cell and animal cell. We have studied about plant and animal cell. They have nucleus present. So well-defined nucleus at us bombing a eukaryotes. The first classification is into two types: prokaryotes and eukaryotes on the basis of structure of cell. Now it was found that all prokaryotes were unicellular. Sorry, prokaryotes unicellular. Okay, and so they were grouped in one kingdom, and the kingdom is called as monera. Okay, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. So first kingdom is kingdom monera which includes all the unicellular and prokaryotic organisms such as bacteria. So all bacteria are included in kingdom monera. Mode of nutrition ki baat kare, kaise nutrients lete? So bacteria may be autotrophic or heterotrophic. That means, agar green color present hai, chlorophyll present hai, to photosynthesis karke food banayenge. If green color or photos, uh, chlorophyll is absent, then they will show heterotrophic mode of nutrition. So you get first kingdom, that is kingdom monera. Now, eukaryotes were further classified into two types, that is unicellular and multicellular on the basis of structure of organism. Organism ke structure ke basis, we have two types mein classify kya. Hamne, matlab, ne classify kya. He classified into two types, that is unicellular and multicellular. Unicellular, single-celled organism, multicellular organism having many cells. So, he made one more kingdom, the second kingdom, that is Protista, which included all the organisms that are unicellular and eukaryotic. Both organisms just may well define nucleus hai, and wo unicellular. Hai. Usko ek kingdom mein dala gaya, and the kingdom is called as kingdom Protista. Example, example are amoeba, paramecium, euglena, etc. You can see they have nucleus, that they are unicellular organisms. So these were placed in kingdom Protista. Next classification. Multicellular organisms were further classified on the basis of present or absent absence of cell wall. Cell wall, whether it is absent or it is present. So with cell wall and without cell wall. Cell wall present or yeah, cell wall absent. Now, as we see that cell wall is present, such organisms which have cell wall present, hai, multicellular, hai, eukaryotic, hai, they were further classified, this particular group was further classified on the basis of chlorophyll absent or present. Chlorophyll agar absent hua, green pigment agar absent hua, to usko one kingdom mein dala gaya and that kingdom is called as kingdom fungi. Okay, so all non-green organisms with a cell wall and eukaryotic which are also multicellular were grouped in one kingdom and that kingdom is kingdom fungi which includes all the mushrooms and moles. Mushrooms, we have seen, and moles also we have seen. Moles. Now, agar inke mode of nutrition ki baat kare, so these are saprotrophic. Saprotrophic, that is, they obtain nutrients from dead and decaying organic matter. Sadi gali chijo se, they nutrient absorb karte. 
एग्जाम्पल ले लो वेन टमेटो और एनी फ्रूट एंड वेजिटेबल्स ब्रेड है जब वो डीके होता है खराब होता है तो वो टाइम पे हम देखते हैं उसके ऊपर फंगस ग्रो हो रहा है तो फंगस न्यूट्रिय डीकेंग ऑर्गेनिक मैटर से अब्सॉर्ब करेगा तो इसीलिए हम बोलते दे आर सेप्रोट्रॉस नेक्स्ट आते क्लोरोफिल अगर प्रेजेंट है तो उसको हमने पानी किंगडम में डाला एंड दैट किंगडम इज कॉल्ड एस किंगडम प्लांटेड किंगडम प्लांट इंक्लूड्स ऑल दी ग्रीन प्लांट्स कॉर्न है कॉकोनट आर सो मेनी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्लांट अराउंड अस दे वर ग्रुप्ड इन किंगडम प्लांटेड ओके एंड द लास्ट किंगडम इज किंगडम एनिमेलिया व्हिच इंक्लूड्स ऑल दी ऑर्गेनिज्म व्हिच डू नॉट हैव सेल वॉल दे आर मल्टी सेलुलर एंड दे आर यूकैरियोटिक दैट इज दे हैव वेल डिफाइंड न्यूक्लियस all the animals example cat dog human etc all the animals were placed in kingdom animalia so this is the five kingdom classification which is given which was given by robert whitaker in 1969 five kingdoms are kingdom monera which includes bacteria kingdom protista that includes all protozoans amoeba euglena etc third kingdom is kingdom fungi that includes mushrooms and molds kingdom plantae All plants, green plants, and kingdom animalia, which includes cats, human, other animals. Okay. So, if in exam, me, asa pucha jaye, what type of organisms are included in kingdom fungi? Kingdom fungi ki characteristic batao. So, characteristic ham ye chart ke basis pe bata sakte. Kingdom kingdom fungi includes all the organism in which chlorophyll is absent. They don't have chlorophyll. They are non-green. They are saprotrophic. they have cell wall present they are multicellular and they are eukaryotic that is they have well defined nucleus this is how we can identify the characteristic of all this five kingdom i hope you understood if you didn't understand you can ask or if you have any doubt you can ask in comment section thank you very much